This is the latest book in the Partisan Press range of how-to painting guides for wargamers. It's an A4 softback running to 112 pages, which as you can see are stuffed full of colour pictures of Sedan War era miniatures. The author begins by stating the aim of the book. He is the first to admit that the painted miniatures within this book will never win prizes in painting competitions. Indeed, the painting techniques he goes on to describe are quick methods to get your 28mm Sudan armies onto the wargames table while still maintaining a respectable painting standard. I found this a refreshing level of honesty and it also piqued my interest. As no one wants to read a painting guide where the level of skill and technique required are well beyond most five-thumbed chaps like me. Instead I was reassured that the techniques described were going to be realistic and achievable. The author then describes his own painting table, the kinds of brushes he uses along with his favoured paints and washes. Advice is provided on how to create a wet palette to prevent the precious paints you are working with from drying up before you are finished. You have to admit that I didn't know how to do this, so I was already learning before passing the introduction. The book essentially provides a step-by-step -step guide with photographs showing each stage of the technique with accompanying text alongside. The author begins by describing how to paint European flesh, then helmets, grey serge uniforms, red jackets and the inevitable khaki drab, which was to be used by most British troops on this campaign. Techniques for painting putties, webbing and equipment are also detailed for infantry, cavalry and artillery. Chapter 5 is devoted to the naval brigade with Chapter 6 covering the unique uniforms of the Camel Corps. Indian troops are then discussed as well as Egyptian infantry in both their white and blue uniforms. Techniques for painting camels and horses are then discussed with nearly 10 pages devoted to horses alone. Given how ubiquitous cavalry were in this campaign I thought this was time well spent as nothing looks more impressive on the war games table than some lovely charging cavalry. Next up are the Maori's forces. The author starts with the early answer before, before covering the Bisha, Kordofani rebels, Nile Arabs and the latter answer with their distinctive colourful patches on their clothing. A great deal of information is provided on how to paint darker skin tones and, inevitably, how to create depth on plain white robes. Contained here are some great tips on how to use brown, sepia and umber washes to good effect. Finally, there is some advice on how to varnish your miniatures and then how to base them to provide the best desert look. Good eye-catching bases can really finish off a wargames unit, so I was very keen to read this section as well. Chapter 13 provides advice on how to make a Nile whaler, which we use to ferry British troops along the river to battle. This seemed a little out of place in a painting guide rather than in a book on modelling, but was still useful information for Sudan enthusiasts. In the last chapter, the author discusses how he makes his own ink washes, which might not be everyone's cup of tea, but was interesting nonetheless. If I had a gripe about this book, it is that although a painting guide to Highlanders is included, the author does not discuss how to paint tartan, directing the reader instead to some websites that discuss the topics. Personally, I would have preferred some guidance be included here, perhaps at the expense of the modelling guide. Overall, however, this is an excellent book full of great painting tips and excellent advice that anyone can follow to make their sedan collections shine. If you are a Sedan Wargamer, this book really is a must. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.